Hello! I finished knitting a cowl. If you're new over here, you probably don't know, but I have knitted a this hat on the screen a while back. This is, and actually I was knitting it while we were moving into this house. So it has a little bit of story behind it. I put a tag over here. So whoever gets this will have information, non-super wash, MSW wool. So basically what they need to do, they need to put it in the water, in the soap, leave it for 20, 30 minutes, and then take it out, squeeze the water, and then maybe squeeze the hat in the towel. I have knitted a matching cowl. And to knit these, and to knit these two, I used 200, 200 grams of 100% merino wool kept everything in this beautiful bag. As you can see, I have some leftovers, so you can see how it looks. The yarn I got a while back, so I have very old label, and this is on the screen over here, the name that you can find on Etsy that dyes this yarn. And this is a notebook color. However, when I did a swatch with this yarn, it was quite busy and quite, yeah, quite busy. <laughs> and I wanted to kind of soften up a little bit. So you could probably see you don't have the contrast, but you could still see those little reds, oranges, whites over here. I grabbed a cone that I got a while, while back, maybe four or five years ago, in Kerry Wool and Neal's shop. It's kind of cottage, um, this shop, and it had something like this. And as you can see, I bought, I paid three euro for it. I don't even know what it is. It says Finais, I don't know. So here it is, what it's inside. And this is how it looks. And what I can tell you, it's a, it's like a string. It does not have any bounds in it. So that's what I added. And I knew I need something kind of reminding of mohair. I'm not sure what that is. In exactly from the same shop that I got. I think it was on the display only. <laughs> and, um, it was not a cone. I just put it like this. It looks like mohair. So check it out. It looks like mohair. Over here. Like this and I added two. It's very soft, very nice, and I think mohair is, is, I don't know, but I love it so much. So I decided to take, so I decided to take some leftovers from the hat, from that 100 grams that I had, knit for a bit, I think I was able to read that much, and then I was adding it, that's another 100 to knit the rest. I have some leftovers, so, you know, I had to decide that that's that. So what I did over here, maybe you would want to recreate it, I did not follow the pattern, I was just playing through. So, I hope you can see the bind off and cast on and bind off. And for me, if I look at them, they look quite the same. And I wanted to get that effect. Hopefully you can see it now. And what I do, I was trying to do different cast ons, but eventually I just took a um, crochet hook. I just did a chain and then I pick up one of the legs that it looks like a pearl leg and I pick up the stitches and start doing a ribbing, which I did over here two by two ribbing, I think for five rounds. And then I was playing a bit. So I started over here. I was playing a bit with twisted stitches. So you may see some kind of design over here, but also increase that, but also increase number, but also increase number of stitches. So you could see it goes wider over here. So when I got that, I was just knitting it around, enjoying, and then I knew that I will have to uh, decrease. And what I did, I decrease, center double decrease. You can see it over here too, to get the same number of stitches that I cast it on. And then I did ribbing and standard bind off. So for the, for the ribbing, I used 4.5 millimeter needles, which is US size seven. And then I went to five millimeters, which is, I'm guessing US size eight uh, for the body. So that's what I did. And as you could see, because I wanted to have a wall on here that the wall, that the fabric will kind of stay and keep you warm. And I think it looks pretty cool with that. So now I will probably will have to ask Seb to who we should gift it for this Christmas. And I think it will be a very wormy, really nice gift. Let me know down below, have you started your gift knitting for this Christmas or any celebrations or any 
special dates. And if you did, let me know down below what do you have on your needles. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Subscribe, like for more knitting and crocheting inspirations. Bye! Yeah, and I'm going to put two videos over here for you to click and maybe watch. Mm -hmm.